こんにちは。From Japan, I'm Kayo, the life struggle creator. I believe you get better with ages. If you believe you are beautiful at any age, please come and join us. 人生は後半戦が面白い。プラチナ世代、楽しく生きたい皆様、お待ちしております。I'm Joanne Fong and I'm currently attached to a public listed advertising firm heading the sales and marketing department. To me, growing old is part of life, it's mandatory. However, acting old is optional. If you agree with me, please come join us live this Saturday, 6th of February, 2 pm Malaysia time. I hope to see you there and meanwhile, stay safe. Thank you. Let us give you a little bit of inspiration how we make our lives from now and after. I'll see you. Just myself. I'm only half the look. Oh, okay. Now I'm in the middle. So strange. Good afternoon, everybody. Now, why am I now only one, one quarter of me? What happened? <laughs> okay. So at least I get to be right in the middle. Konnichiwa. Happy New Year to my two friends. Hello. Can we hear Kayo? Kayo, you are mute. Kayo, Kayo, you got to unmute yourself. Good. Now, can you hear me? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Can you hear? Sorry, okay. I, I need to share one more place. So, if you can give me some minute. All right.、It's、you know,、okay? Kayo is someone who um, she was in a black dress just now, and then when she saw me in red, she quickly <laughs> went to change to yes, yeah. <laughs> And then it's just, better to be in the red dress. Yes, I said no. I still want your red color. But then this is a, this is black. Okay, so、yeah. uh, let me share one more place so、okay. that some people can join us. Give me one second so you you two、sure. can speak. Of course. Now、uh, we apologize a little bit of technical problem right at the beginning as usual before. Each of us introduce ourselves. Of course, I have to introduce myself first, right? Being the host today, I had a brand new haircut. Not、uh, okay. Sometimes it's、uh, to me. I explore different different hairdresser because every three months your hair goes very long, right? Then you can do <laughs> your hair again, ah?、Uh? Because it's near Chinese New Year in Malaysia. Unfortunately, this year we cannot celebrate Chinese New Year with your other family members who are away. Yeah, so I have to look for a Chinese dress so I can wear it at home for this purpose. And then、uh, Kaya was saying, "Hey, your dress looks like my poster. If you can see my poster, okay, this is a dress that." That I have. Very <laughs> oh my gosh! I really don't don't don't, don't drop your com-、uh, laptop. My computer.、Yeah. That's it, beautiful. It's very much like my poster. So okay,、Great. so I have to sit like that.、Uh, how come? Ah,、uh, 
I just cannot adjust myself. Just now was very nice. Okay. Okay, well, now we all friends, are set. I friends. hope so. Yeah. Welcome, my friends, Kayo-san and Joanna. But first of all, let me introduce these two ladies. The lady on my... No, it's opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> the lady <laughs> on my... This, the screen is uh, my right-hand side. Joanna Fong. Now, Joanna Fong, she says this is the first time of her going live uh, socially, uh, I suppose, because I'm sure she got a lot of Zoom. And who is Joanna Fong? Now, Joanna Fong, when you saw that little video that I made, you know that video? I'm so proud of what I could do. I can watch the video 10 times a day. Uh, that was what I did. And uh, Joanna is someone who I always say she's a live wire. Whenever we have a group of classmates, whatever she speaks, whatever she talk, all the classmates will be looking up at her in awe because she will share her experience being in the corporate world for a long time, right? So am I, so is Kayo. So Joanna, did I say something not so right about you? That everything is right on the point, huh? You know, my right. aging, my aging for so many years, you have known me for almost 50 over years, Josephine. Everything is right. We know each other 50 over years. Oh, okay. Oh my God, <laughs> oh, so long. Yes, because we are classmates. We are classmates. Oh. And Joanna, as you can see from the video, I put a caption there, leadership began from school. So oh in school, Joanna is a prefect. You know, prefect is like, wow, we are all looking up at her. Whatever the prefect says, we have to do. And you have to be very friendly with your prefect, you know, because then when your hair gets too long, you don't oh tie it. Oh my God, but it's so strict. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So it's more strict than Japan, Japanese yes. school. Yes. Yes. Now, be <laughs> very friendly with your prefect. Wait, wait. Oh dear. My, my iPhone is speaking. Uh, okay. I'm watching us. In my on my white iPhone, so sorry. You know, the other person is while I look up. Hello, Suri. Suri Lexuwat is from Bangkok. Remember Suri? Kayo san? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Suri san, konnichiwa. She yeah. said she is going to be on the workshop, but now she has a little bit, a uh, few minutes off. Konnichiwa, ah, right. sawadika. <laughs> sawadika, yes. <laughs> so while Joanna, I know her for a long time. Now, Kayo is another friend who I really look up upon. When did I met Kayo? It was only in September we met, right? Now, Kayo, as I know, she is the global walking ambassador. Hello. Wow, thank you. What is walking ambassador? Do you know that as you walk, you actually fit your body? You have such confidence when you walk, right? And I learned from her... AICI session at that time, walking in fact, it, uh, how would I say, um, affects your health better or for worse. So I know Kayo as the global walking ambassador. You're the only yeah, one. Yeah, you named me. You named me global walking ambassador. Global. And I, I really liked it. You're <laughs> the only one. But now, I just see what you write in your Facebook that you are a live travel creator kayo mm. tell our audience what do you do and okay what do you mean by live travel creator okay uh hello everybody i'm speaking from japan nala it's uh, five uh three of three twenty from Jap uh, nala i met joe i believe it was uh autumn of nine to yeah, yeah, about one and a half year ago. And I met her. I was a walking ambassador. Of course, I teach how to have a good posture and how to walk. And on top of it, now why I, I am calling myself Life Travel Creator. This is going to be my second life job after 60. Yes, I want to create travel. And, you know, I have a dream. I want to change the image of Japanese tourists outside of Japan. I want them to make look happy and confident and enjoy their life. So I want to produce, I am going to produce a life traveling. It's a life vacation together <laughs> with I will create the new type of a tourist, Japanese tourist, who is more elegant 
and smart mm -hmm. and who mm -hmm. is enjoying their life. So that is my mission because I have been working as a flight attendant 38 years, oh. almost 40 years. I was Finier, in the air. Right? <laughs> yeah, Finier. I traveled like more than 1,000 round trip of the world and I went to 43 countries. So I have seen the world. So I know how to be travel smart and then I want all of Japanese people to be confident of themselves. Kayo, cheers. Thank Shall you very cheer? much. Oh, yes. I talk cheers. too much. Kayo. Okay, I have yeah. a red wine. Uh, you sure it's red wine? <laughs> Mine is white wine, but I try to mimic a white wine, but it doesn't look like one. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to your dream. Cheers Thank to you. Joanna's dream, because all of us are looking forward to our city. So this is our year, year of the ox. Cheers. Okay, cheers. cheers to all of In us. Japanese, it's kanpai. Kanpai. Come by. Okay, cheers. Yes, I like this. Mm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You know, I was watching last night Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep is my favorite actress. Oh, and same, yeah, same my she favorite. Did, she did a live show and she had her glass of champagne. Of course, I had my flute, but the flute is in the studio. So, I do what I can right now. So I was like, I'm so inspired by her. Yeah, and it's so do I. Her. Yeah, because you see for her, we always get people talk about us for your age, right? Mm. For her age, is so strong, very articulate. And you know, she believed working until the last breath. So, mm. you know, this is something that, of course, so who says we are at retirement age? We are never at retirement age, and we still have our dreams, right? Yes, we still have dreams. I found the new dream. Yeah, I love your new dream. By the way, this is like we say, you know, uh, life begins at 60. Some people are pretty shy to say that they are at this age. Yeah. Uh, some of them don't even uh, uh, want to say, no, I don't want to tell people I'm at retirement age. If you look at three of us, do you think we are at retirement age? People write down your comments. Write down your comments. <laughs> somebody, somebody, many people are admiring you. Cheers. And many people, Chris, Chris yes. Lim, your friend. Yes. Right. Um, Joanna, maybe we ask Joanna. Let's talk about, you know, for us, we are someone who is very wise at this age. We have seen the world. We have seen so many different types of people. I think we fall all the time, all right? But I always say, when we fall, we have injuries, yeah? But injuries will heal unless you do not want to take care of yourself and the injuries will continue. I remember at one time, an author came interviewed me and uh, the title of his book is called Life Sucks. Life sucks. S-U-C-K-S, right? Oh. So he asked me this question. What if life sucks? That was like about three years ago. What if life sucks? So guess what was my answer? What was My it? answer is, let it suck. <laughs> <laughs> let it Come take on. it away. <laughs> Come on, who has a life that is full of, uh, uh, what you call that, uh, full of comfort? and uh you know easy life all of us have difficult life it could yeah. be love life is difficult it could be money life so i say let it suck but don't let it suck too long that is my own yes that is very own. important yes let it suck come on this is life yeah. but it won't take too long right yes so what 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 is the best time of our life joanna what's the best time of your life okay to me uh, many people will feel that our childhood time is the best time of our life because mm. we have no worries, we have no responsibilities, we have no complications, and we are just plain innocent. But mm. as I thought about it further, I'm mm. going to approach my 60th birthday by mid of next month. And I feel that at 60, it will be a fantastic year and it will be the best year of my life for a simple reason why. When I was in 20, we were seeking a job looking mm. for money because we have no money then we were at 30 
He was struggling to build a career. <laughs> and the first thing he wanted was to get a car so that we can move further. But at 40, we focus on our corporate, climb up the corporate ladder. And it's just, it is so tough because you may be faced with a lot of politicking and all the nonsense in your life, right? But that will help us in our experience. When I hit 50, I find that I stabilize, I manage to establish my position and financially count. But you have no time to travel. That's oh, what okay. Is. Leave it to me. <laughs> now, I'm going to hit my, my 60s by mid of next month. I'm 60. But thank goodness, I'm still in the workforce. And as far as I can work, I think I will still continue to work at my leisure. And at 60, it's always a freedom of choice. It's a freedom yes. of choice to pursue what you like to do and also to pursue... Oh, tata -chan. Konnichiwa. All your, Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And um, we can have more time for our family, which we have not been having that when we were in our, our 20s, 30s, 40s and 50s. So to me, I look forward to my next birthday, which is next mm. month, to celebrate my 60th birthday. So that is what I feel is the best time of my life to be 60 and always looking young at heart and to maintain our good image so that we can have a better, uh, uh, what we call, self-confidence. Yes. Kayo's birthday is on the 2nd of March. Oh yeah, that's my, <laughs> my birthday. I, <laughs> because I follow Kayo's life and all. So Kayo, tell us. How's your life? What was the best time of your life? What is, you know, our best, best time of the life? Best yeah. time. You know, this is a very difficult question to answer mm. because it's like uh, Charlie Chaplin. She, she, he was asked, what is your best piece of the work in the past? But he mm. always said, it's the next one. So to um, me, it's like a, tomorrow is going to be my best day <laughs> to me. Tomorrow's, we put an S there. Huh? Yes. But if, if I look back my past, of mm. course, there were you know, up and downs and there was down and down and there was very down. But now when I look back, those down doesn't look like so bad as I was there at that time. Mm -hmm. So to me, it... Every time of my past was very nice time because mm. it is making me. Uh, can I uh, answer to the uh, comment? Of course. Feedback. こんにちは、たかちゃん。何の会ですか。これはあのマレーシアのお姉さん方二人。え、三人ともう六十歳になるんですね。六十歳になるということでもうすぐチャイニーズニューイヤー。向こうの中国のニューイヤー。あのおめ
because for me, I do um, certification training and my niche is very international. So I have students coming from uh, China, Hong Kong and uh, Thailand, definitely. Even the Thailand, uh, I have already, uh, you know, students who say, Joe, I've gotten the money. I have, uh, they have given me the registration form. But when the pandemic strike, nobody can come. They cannot come here. Can. So even for me, it's been like 11 months. I have not been doing anything. So this is, in a way, the worst time of our year because who knows this is going to happen, right? Nobody knows. But my best time is certainly the time when I was working with Chanel, of course. Even until today, <laughs> last night, I had a dream I was still in the office. So mm, I'm still Chanel dreaming lady. every day what I did before. Because I felt that was the time I traveled. Oh, here's a, a honest Tom. I, I know this guy. Who? Tom? Ah, Tom, Tom. Tom. Yeah, from Bangkok. It's from Thailand. Hello, Tom. So uh, in my 30s, when I was working with Chanel, mid-30s, I traveled around the world, uh, anywhere in the world uh, except US. So we have been traveling to uh, Europe and many, many parts of Asia, including Korea, Japan. Oh, wow, know, good. Yes. Uh, that was the job that I do. I love to be with my trainers, yeah, because, you know, we, we speak about our own country's issues and whatever. And that was the time, you know, because you work for Chanel, so you are so arrogant. You think that, <laughs> you know, you are so superior. So uh, it's quite different. So at that time, we don't have much problem except, you know, office politics. Yeah. So that was my best time. I, I say what, that's why people ask me, actually, how old are you? I say, I'm just 35. Oh, I have a <laughs> yeah, you, you, age, well, of course, we are almost 60. Right. But I am this month. Is, everybody passed 60 this, this month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm receiving the comment from many Japanese people, and then many of them are over 60, reaching 70, and they are enjoying their life. And then Hello, it's Jessie. so nice. Hi, Josie. Hello. Oh, I remember you. Yes. So, you know, talking about the best time of our life, you know, um, talking about politics and all this. Maybe, Joanna, you tell me something about um, you, all of us, as we grow older right now. I mean, we hope to give a little inspiration to people who are turning midlife, right? What midlife. would you it's your best version of self and the worst version. We always have best and worst version, right? Yeah. Of ourselves? Yes. <laughs> now, for my sister is stop now. Huh? Okay. Well, I am a people person. I'm very easygoing. I'm very outgoing. And I believe that I do have a sense of humor every now and then. And, and uh, due to the job that I've been in customer services and sales for the last three decades, I'm going to be very patient and um, patient? I, yeah, I'm going to be Why a very did you patient. Say patient. Why did you say patient? I'm what patient. Makes you patient? Yeah. What were cases that people make you not patient? I've learned to control my pain, my, my temper. I learned to control my anger because after having mm -hmm. customer services for and, and sales for 30 over years, I think I'm so oh. used to um, yeah. a lot of things that people are angry about. And I always believe two wrongs don't make a right, right? And in sales, we have to be pleasant. No matter what the customer say, rule number one, I always believe customer is always right. And rule number two, please refer to rule number one. For my time, <laughs> I was brought up, I was brought up, I was brought up, I was brought up that year. But maybe in this current generation, it could be slightly different, right? Uh, but during my time, it was fantastic, and I live by that book. And if you ask me, what is the worst thing that I have ever uh, uh, on my end? I would say that being in customer service and sales, I cannot lament on what is my worst side. But if you ask me what I lack, then I have two things here. One. I regret not having to 
um, study Mandarin because I lose out a lot when it comes to communication and networking oh. with people who speak Mandarin. And on top of that, I have a group of nice uh, uh, classmates, schoolmates, where they always go karaoke and they are all songbirds. They sing a lot of Mandarin songs, Chinese songs that I love, but I can only be the backup singer because oh. I just can't speak the Mandarin, right? So I you just need so you, you, you speak you you speak Mandarin. I don't. I don't. Oh, okay. You I speak Mandarin, and I'm a sheep, and I'm a sheep that I did not pick up Mandarin, right? So probably after my 60, if I have this free time, I would like to pick up Mandarin because I think it's oh. important. And my second biggest regret is that. I never had a, I never bothered to learn how to cook. Probably because I was too busy. <laughs> so so easy. Okay, same with me, same with me. I can't even me. cook. I can't even cook. But no. the good thing is that my spouse is a fantastic cook. So I'm very glad Ooh. to have a spouse who's able to cook well. God. How? Then you, you, you don't need to know how to cook. <laughs> oh, since you say your spouse, since you say your spouse, huh? When did you get married, Joanna? You know, well, Joanna, when she's young, she has got a lot of admirers, right? When she's young. Yeah. <laughs> right, admirers. But I know she got married at a very late age. I see. Right. How old you were, if, if it's okay uh, to ask? Well, well I sold, according to, all my, according to all my bosses, I sold my life to the companies that I work for. Uh, I've been a very dedicated and committed uh, staff. I worked 10 years in one of in, in Toshiba and I had worked uh, 24 years in an advertising firm. I literally sold my life to the company in the corporate world. But I was fortunate enough to meet someone nice, great, caring at the age of late 40s. Oh, um, I see. And, yeah, late 40s. And I got uh, married in the, uh, at 50s, right? It's 50s. more than about five years. Yeah, okay, so you're, you're a still honeymooner. Oh, yeah, I'm still enjoying my, my life. Huh? And I always feel that it's never too old to get married to the man you love. And Thank you mean you can look old at the age of 40, but you can look young at the age of 60. And I think Josephine knows that too, that my spouse is eight years my junior. Not many junior. people know. Uh, yes, yeah. eight years my junior. Eight, eight years. Yes. Yes. I'm so glad that uh, I I don't look like my age, and I managed to get uh, a wonderful spouse who is eight years my junior, and oh. he's a fantastic cook, right? And um, I thought <laughs> jealous, right? I will share this because not many people know that I have a younger husband. And he's a fantastic guy, and I'm going to show you how he looks like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, oh, is wow. he with you? Okay, oh, you have a picture. Oh, <laughs> Wait, where cool. is he? Yes, is he, is he not in Malaysia, right? Yeah, he 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 he's born in Malaysia, but he is a Singaporean. He's a citizen of Singapore. Right. Where was that oh, picture yeah. taken? Smart guy. Very smart guy. Very nice. Very nice picture. Yeah. Well, that picture was taken where? Uh, this was taken in Korea, I think. Oh, because Korea. it has a um, uh, winter winter atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic yeah. love story. Wow, tasting wow. fantastic <laughs> love story. So, wow. So my, motivation to, uh, my motivation to a lot of uh, ladies who are still single, uh, they always get worried that when they hit the late 30s, 40s, 50s, they will never get to get married. Never look at it that way. As long as you can maintain young at heart, you keep yourself well groomed, I'm sure the thing the time will come. Okay. Joanna, I want to add one thing, huh? Because for us right now, we are full of <laughs> handsome. We are full of confidence. We are so experienced and uh, you know, we we know what we want right so it's not about waiting for the man no it's correct it's not about waiting for the man but no we no will no choose who is the best one we can still choose all right we have a choice <laughs> yeah right? we have a, we, we, we choose <laughs> right Kayo, how about you Kayo? tell us about some love story if you do have oh okay the love advice. story now it's, it's it is now love story which love one should story. i start <laughs> something about yourself that you know the viewers can 
discover some secrets and that gives them some inspiration. Who says we are old, right? We are never old. No, I, I, I am young when I look at my mother, of course, you know. Yes, your mom My mother is, is 91 90. years old and she's still going great. Nice. Well, of course, she has a little bit problem of walking, but uh, she said she has a, she, she always tells me she has a reason to live. That's why she is living long. Can so, I ask one question, Kayo? Can I yes. ask one question about living long? Why do I know most people in Japan, they do live for a long time? What is the, from the food, I know it's very blended. Apart from that, what, what is the key contribution for someone who lives long? Hmm. Well, good question. Now our age age span for women is almost like 88. And 88. for the 88, it's a long, long way, isn't it? And for men, it's I'm sorry to say, but it's a little bit shorter, 83. We inherit their wealth, right? We got a younger man, you know? <laughs> I, I believe because uh, women live longer than men, of course, well, not, not everybody, but we are so talented to find something, joy to ourselves. Yes. And then, you know, and then community is very good, very important, I believe, community, which makes people have, you know, the energy to live, something to live with. Because yeah. like, look at this, my mother is 91 and then she says every year she is losing her friend. Every year by, by, you know, year by year, she has no friend to, to send a postcard or a Christmas card or a New Year's greeting card. But she has a community. She has some other friends and she has like family and those community, you know, this is very important, I, I believe. They are not isolated. They are not alone. Yeah, so, well, that is not uh, my love story. <laughs> but... <laughs> So that's your love story, huh? Your mom is still your love. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. But love, talking about love story, yeah. Actually, um, I, I married twice. And uh, that means I'm single now. So I am after 60. I hope that I will meet somebody. I, You're so maybe, alluring. Yeah, maybe You're not so married, but, but I, I want to have somebody to, to share the life and to share the feeling. And I don't. Th I mean, I think I'm young enough <laughs> to look for one. And very confident. And I believe you see. Um, speaking uh. about finding the right person, right? I think it's so important that uh, the values, the purpose, everything has got to be in line. Huh? Uh, that surely getting married. It's to me. If you have a spouse, this is. Make, make by heaven it's the best choice because human surely you must have a better heart you have children or whatnot but that's ideal situation not everybody is given a fair chance example like me um people say you know joe how come you are not married and you know there are certain people who say oh you're retired is it you actually don't have to work because your children are already so old now <laughs> it's like what makes you think at our age we should have children at this age so I always say I'm never married. And the questions is never end, you know. They will ask you, oh, why are you not married? So I met the right man at the wrong time. And the wrong oh, man yeah. at the, the right time. is also, yeah. That's, that's exactly. very true. Correct. So if the timing is not right, you have to find the best for yourself. What do you want? Then you, I will switch. I will switch my love. I will switch what I can contribute. Now, I don't have the man for me to cook for him or to make him feel good, but I have voluntary work. I love animals. I love to teach. Yeah, so I love to travel. So if I have enough of money, I would always go travel because I felt that when I travel, nobody knows me. I can be myself and I have all the... Uh, it's limitless. I can explore anything that I, I like to without showing, without having to please people at times. Do you know what I mean? So traveling, it's a big lesson to me. So I love to travel. So that's my passion. Yeah, I love see, to I told I love you, traveling is very important. That's right. why I'm a life travel con con creator. creator. <laughs> yes, and, and I, I love... Believe, I believe traveling has a power. 
It has what big power. power. Mm. What power? It's big power for just like Joe, 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 you, you, you were talking about. That's great. Yeah. Wow, that's good. Really? <laughs> nice to hear. I, I remember, I mean, talking about travel, right? I'm sure Joanna have traveled many places. I remember, um, of course, when I work for Chanel, every year I go Paris and people say, wow, I love your job. They say they love my job because they think I go to Paris, but I often tell them it's only the 14 hours of traveling time that I gain and I sleep in the plane. That's it, right? But in fact, my favorite place that I've ever traveled, actually, it was uh, Switzerland. Switzerland? Switzerland. Switzerland is a very small country. Mm. It's a very what, small what, country. What, fa what fascinated you, Switzerland? Uh, I can I can explore the whole country in just three days because it's a small country like Singapore. When I was in Switzerland, I feel very safe. Mm. I felt so safe that I don't have to take care of. Uh, I'm not afraid of losing money or my passport. Right? People speak English, so the communication, I have no problem, and I love Switzerland for the air. I remember I went to the highest mountain, I think it's called Yofrang Ro, right? Mm. And I went up there and then when I came down, I was just watching the peak of the mountain from white to gray to black. Oh. And I just had my hamburger and I just watched the sun goes down. Mm. And the best part was I love Interlaken. So at Interlaken, Interlaken is a place between two lakes. That's yeah, what they call I mean it. There. Right, and I again in the morning I would just have a burger sitting in front of a river, and the river water is so still, and I'm watching opposite the cottages. So the mm. cottages have a reflection on the river front, and I have music to the ears because the sheep around there, they were eating grass, ah. and the animals ah. were moving. It's such a beautiful place and the air is so clean. That's why I love to travel. And if I go to Germany, um, I, oh, the, the other thing is when I travel, I love to take all kinds of uh, travel. Like I will take a bus. I will take, uh, there's so many types of transportation, right? Train and all. That. So I love to explore. I love to explore. And as long, oh, as, I, as, long as I live, I would want to travel. My bucket list is um, New Zealand. My bucket list is to take a cruise from oh, London. Can I join you? <laughs> Please, up to Scotland. Let, let us, but I have to keep money first. I have to save money first. <laughs> up to Scotland and Moore's Cliff is a place that I want to go. Mm. So ah. that, that's my bucket list. Right. Oh, he, she she also my friend. She said she wants to come to Switzerland also. <laughs> wow. He's writing comment. Aliato. Aliato. Yeah. So in, and uh, Sabadika for those uh, from from, from uh, Thailand. Uh, yes. From Thailand. Right. It's nice to hear that people are yeah. traveling. Mm, yeah. It's nice. You see, yeah, um, of course, today all of us made up. You know, we might look. A little bit more presentable but yeah. we have times too we have bad times that you just don't feel like putting on makeup uh and uh, you know you are you are your real self in front of the mirror so <laughs> you know i used to go to the gym right i believe a lot in fitness as well i love to go to the gym so when i go to the gym i used to hear people tell me joe for your age your complexion how do you keep your complexion so good Joe, for your age, how did you keep your body, you know? That day I was having a conversation with Joanna, right? Joanna was telling me, this young guy at 28 years old, suddenly she heard that we are at this age, they kind of like, gee, something is... Off, right? <laughs> Sorry? They just back off. When they they just back off, off right? So yeah. They, they <laughs> are back off. But prior to knowing our age, they are so chatty with us. But to me, that is a compliment, you know? Yeah, and yeah. You, Let's take it a compliment. That's Correct. A compliment. Because we are the wisest people today. 
right? And we can, <laughs> the wisdom, I always say. So what if people come and say, actually, you are so old. Uh, what, how, how would you answer them? How would you make yourself feel good? And you do not want to put this at a very awkward, awkward situation. How would you handle that? To me, 60 is just a number, right? As long as if you ask me what is the definition of old, old to me means you are weak, you are feeble, you can't move, you are dependent on people, and you feel very inferior, you feel very discomfort, incompetent, or maybe uh, uh, what you call it, lonely sometimes. Then you feel old. It's all how you feel, right? It's just a number. But to me, I would say that. You should be active, you should be lively, you should be energetic and one but not the least today and the two professionals here, you got to be stylish. I always <laughs> believe and I love looking at Jo. Every time I see her, I will always say how I wish Jo because she's a motivator to me, the way she, she blooms herself. Even though I think that I'm in a corporate world, I, I, I dress really well. But sometimes you just feel that you are you're too, you just don't make an effort to dress up. And because every time when I look at Joe and I go into her Facebook, it gives me the motivation that no matter at what age we are, as long as we know how to put on some light makeup, we can put on our earrings. Our ears are to listen, but I believe that God also created our ears to make us look pretty. Look at Kyle Sam. You look so great <laughs> in your look, earrings. Look, look, look. I, I love her energy. I love her energy. Yeah. Thank you and very also, much. The neck to support our our head. We can also use it to decorate out uh, with some nice necklace. And I love Bollywood. They are always full of accessories with a nice uh, a bangle and a nice ring. And what is what is uh, funny is my my spouse always tells me, whenever you go out, you always dress up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Wow, you don't good. understand her. Okay, so he's a reindeer. <laughs> I love that answer. Whenever he says that, because everybody loves woolly tights, right? Everybody loves Christmas. And when you go to a shopping mall, you'll find everybody is going to the Christmas tree with all the decoration and they want to take photos. So if I am like the Christmas tree, dressed like the Christmas tree, I think I feel good. It's not for anybody to look at. But I feel that I have to step up to this. And, and, and to look, make you look good, you don't feel old at all. So to me, I will always say, what is the meaning of old, right? Yeah. It's yes. just a number. Yes. And sometimes I think um, we are young at heart. We can still, um, we, used to work, we used to use the word those days, we party, right? Um, and we network with younger people. And as long as we're able to communicate and uh, we are in the in thing of today, we are able to communicate with the young people, we feel young and we feel good. <laughs> mm. You know, now we are entering the age, you know, um, like um, our age span is going to be 100 years, right? And then when the Japanese kids, they become adult, the age span in Japan is going to be like 110. <laughs> Wow. Then, yeah, it's going to be. Now, the, look at those peop, uh, kids going wow. to the elementary school. When they grow up, our age span is going to be over 100. In that, 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 that means the old yeah. will 50. be a little bit pushed up to maybe 80. Yeah. You, you know, maybe, maybe mid-age start like 70. <laughs> old, old, the definition is old will be like over 80 or 90. You know, but I've met, I've met some people who are 78 years old and they are still so pleasant and they don't look old. They are able to walk on yeah. their own here and they are able to put on nice accessories and they look fantastic. And I see them taking the light exercise. I don't think they are old at all. Right? When I say old means you're so feeble, you're so weak, you're so demoralized and you look so sad. You know, Even at 40, even at 30, you can look old. I know, like people who is like in a sports club, like a fitness gym, who is right. active is over 50 or 50, 50, over 60. <laughs> Youngsters, right. they get tired after 30 minutes workout. Okay, so <laughs> we are more energetic. 
I think right, exactly. yeah, it, it is it is it is so here in Japan and then it all has to do with your self confidence, you know, of how you look and how you carry yourself and have an active life. Active life, that's that's I'm sure many will agree with us, right? Who I'm sure many many will agree. Of course. Sure. I, 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 I was reading the, all the comments. Uh -huh. Is there anybody who has got any questions for us? Then we can answer them. If, maybe in Japanese or... Because I cannot see. I cannot oh, well, see. Japanese, Japanese people, they are saying hello. They don't understand what we are talking, but they, have no. a, they get a good impression from us. Yeah. Kakoi, kakoi means like stylish or cool. Yoko chan, konnichiwa. Yes, kakoi o sugiru. It's too cool, too, too stylish. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. me, to me, to me right, who will not grow old? Anything grows old, even a piece of paper, even a white dress. If you don't wear it, you keep it in the wardrobe. Over time, it's going to turn yellow. Right. Can you breathe? Growing old is part of life. It's mandatory. We cannot escape from that. No. But acting, but acting old is optional. You Correct. Know, you have a choice. You have a choice. We are given a life, a plant, an animal. Everybody live by days. Right. Some would have shorter life. Some would have longer life. Huh? I believe this is being made by upstairs. But I yeah. felt what is very important is as long as we are a human being on this world, what can we contribute? There are so many things we can contribute, right? When, if you can be more compassionate, compassionate is feel for other people. Mm. Compassionate is being less selfish. I realized today because uh, life is tougher, I have to say, life can become very tough. We can tell everybody we look good, we feel young, but in reality, we do have our lonely uh, time. We do have our ugly time, right? Who doesn't have? Yeah. To me, this is very fair, right? We are given this amount of time. You have to make full use of yourself to the contribution that you can do. Like an example, huh? um, I I when I I remember uh, this year February I took a friend, uh, actually a student. We went to KLCC and we walked the longest bridge, the highest bridge. Oh, I, was I was supposed to go there. <laughs> yes, I bought the ticket for you, but I, you know, I it remember was it was burnt. Huh? I was telling Kayosan, I want you to walk on the bridge as the walking ambassador. Yeah, so, I, I remember. <laughs> right. So my, my student came and we went there and then we met a Swiss couple. We met a Swiss couple. Uh, they were in their 50s or 60s, I think, and they were taking photographs all the time, you know, and they asked people, people to take photographs for them. Then after that, uh, I approached them. I said, let me take your photograph. And what I made them to do, I made them kiss. I made, I made the lady jump on the man's back and then how the man carry him, uh, carry her. And the guy said, you know, this is actually our honeymoon. And yeah. we never had such a photograph if we did not meet you. And then he asked me, are you a photographer? I said, no. So how come you take so good pictures? So to me, it's if I can make the person happy, I am happier. I think that is a very important purpose of me. So as a teacher, we are educator. We mentor people, all right? Give as much as you can. If people do not like you or people, uh, you know, some people can be betrayal or whatever, it's okay because you have done your best. You take picture for people and picture people are very happy. The reason is because I want you to be happy when you look at your picture. And when you are happy, I am happy. So yeah. happiness is how we create for ourselves. When I am not happy, when I am impatient, when I'm sad at times, when I feel lonely, I don't go out. Mm. I talk to my dog. <laughs> talk to my dog. All my dark secrets. I talk to him, right? And yes, 
Animals are the best therapists. So do whatever you have uh, in your spare time. So people are asking me, Joe, you got no jobs in the past 12 months. I say, yes, but what are you doing? Constantly, I keep myself busy with uh, research. I do spring clean my clothes because you know, when you spring clean your clothes, you feel so happy that you can still put your body inside the dress. <laughs> 10 years ago, okay. It's, it's to, it needs to be very slim, tight dress. Right. So <laughs> you make yourself happy. If other people, we are, I'm not as, as lucky as Joanna, having Morris to make you yes, happy. Eight years I make younger. Myself happy myself. <laughs> I make myself happy myself. So in the eyes of a lot of my friends, they say, Joe, you are so strong. Why is there the word strong? So I keep telling them, you know, I don't like to be strong. It's not a choice that I want, but because I have nobody to help me. The person who actually helped me left me, who is my eldest brother. He left us uh, in the year 2019, November 28. Ever since he left us, I felt that my lamppost has gone. But this is life because things, people will take things away from you one day. So... Yes. My one, my one adv advice for ladies or men who are really going into their midlife. Midlife means late forties. You know, I lost my job at the age of forty-eight. At the age of forty-eight, and I was so fearful. I thought, uh, you know, we have been working like thirty years corporate. Suddenly, I have no more job what to do and I felt so sick and I got pneumonia so I was hospitalized for a few days before Chinese New Year that is oh. why today yeah pandemic is about your chest right I was so fearful uh, when I lost my job at 48 human have two parts of your chest right one part of my chest was totally white that means white. it's infested, infested with a virus already and the other chest, I only have two thirds left. One third, it's already infested. Oh. I cannot even walk five steps because I was so scared I had flu and all this. This is exactly the pandemic, why people have breathing problems. So I totally understand. And when I was hospitalized, I was put in a, a TB ward. TB ward because it's chest problem, right? But it's fear. So today, I also lost 12 months of my, mm. my income, right? I have zero income in 12 months. <laughs> Should I be even more fearful? Because at that time when I lost my job, my uncle, my very wise uncle, taught me how to do my financial. And that was the time I wanted to do my image uh, course in Hong Kong. So if I oh. do my image course in Hong Kong, 50% of my savings is gone. Mm -hmm. And when I come back, I only have 50%. And out of 50%, I have to take half of them to start a business. Meaning mm -hmm. with 25% of your savings, you can only live maximum six months if you have no income. And mm -hmm. then I was so fearful. Now it's 12 months. It's worse <laughs> more than I'm older. I should be even more fearful. But... I think in this 10 years have really taught me a lot. Good. Never be fearful. You can be sad, you can be scared, but never be fearful, mm. right? But when you are sad, when you are scared, community, like what Kayo said, is very important. Very community important. Mm. helps you, mm. all right? Uh, you have got good friends, they actually helped you, yeah? And so... You are wiser. You know how to make yourself happier, more busy, and do a lot of survey and keep learning. This is very important because one day, what you learn is never wasted. And during this pandemic, I have to say, what did I do? I, I have no nothing, but I did a lot of video by which my uncle of 72 years old, he was the one who teach me how to do video how the opening of your speech. Yeah, now you make good videos. And he even teach me how to do, use the nano prompter, you know, to talk and to do editing. 
So I spent mm. my 10 months of pandemic doing newer, newer and newer videos and more interesting videos. So that may not give me the money now. But you know what? I have a very good circle of friends and students and mm. students. So you know what my students told me, Joe? I'm seeing Joe and many people actually wrote in my Facebook, I like the new Joe. Maybe they know me as a very arrogant woman, you know? <laughs> so they say, I like you better now. So I always tell them, you mean you hated me before? No. <laughs> so people give you compliments. And I have students who say, you know, Joe, your videos might not be giving you monetary money right now, but it will come because people are watching you. People recognize you. Right, and you know social media is very important. And I have to say, even Kayo is one of my inspiration because Kayo does so many videos. Remember, we did a live together. Mm. You can be beautiful at any age, and then yes. she was the one who do the walking inside her house doing funny video, and I did <laughs> and we merged two videos together, and you did the the mask. Man -made oh, mask. Yes, ma yes, I masquerade. Man made mask. And I give credits to Kayo because my friend Kayo uh, gave me this inspiration. Oh, so, the how to make a mask out of Anka G. Yes, I did. Oh, and okay, I okay. So, you know, all this, it's at my age, I still learn. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's nice. nice. It's, it's, it's so interesting, interesting to, to get new knowledge. And right, new, new and I always kind of when people tell me, oh, actually, you're very old, right? You know, my answer to them is, it is a privilege to be older. Yes. It's a privilege to be older. And you know what? You tell me that you are actually very old. I'm going to give you one advice today. Go home, hug your parents, and say thank you to them. Because <laughs> they are the one who give you life. Right. Yes. So for yeah. me, one regret I have is I think I have never been a good daughter to my mother and my father because they passed off earlier. I didn't. I I was sad when they passed off. But when my brother passed off in 2019, I was grieved. Then I realized losing someone so dear. It's a very painful thing. So you think I'm all. It's a privilege to be older and I want you to go home and hug your parents and you thank them for giving you the life because while they are still alive, treat them as best as you can. So that's my advice. So Joanna, what's your advice to people who are turning yeah. life? Yeah, for me, it's important to maintain a good lifestyle, uh, maintain a healthy mind, a healthy okay. body, and of course, spiritually healthy, right? And even when you are at 60, and even if you are out of the workforce, never stop your network, never stop to socialize. Because mm. to me, I think that being interested in the world will make mm -hmm. you a more interesting person. So yeah. importantly is continue to either work or continue to uh, invest in a passion, a hobby, it can be gardening, it can be cooking, it can be singing. That's what I want to do. Huh? Uh, you can go for social dancing. You know, There's so many things that we can do when life hits uh, 60. And this is the best time of our life because yes. why? Freedom. We have the choice of freedom, right? And mm -hmm. of course, to everyone, when you leave the workforce, please bear in mind your network, the socializing is important. Not only that, but keeping yourself, upkeeping yourself to look good, make an effort, all right? Because many of my friends feel that, oh, I already retired. I don't think I need to go to work anymore. This is how I look like. And they walk out of the house, even like in, a, in their pajamas. To me, it's very <laughs> important. It's not too much for people to look at, but it's to keep your self-image, to boost up your self-confidence. And from there, who says that at 60 and 70, you can't be working here? Like Joe said, we have lots of experiences and uh, we can share our experiences with even the younger people and look at Turner standards of KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Everybody knows him. He became very successful at a much older age. And yeah. look at 
Even our Prime Minister, I mean, not many people may like our Prime Minister, Atun Dr. Mahathir, but sometimes when I look at it, I say that, gosh, even at 92, 93, his brain is very sharp and he's very witty. An important thing is, that's what we want to do. Keep ourselves, uh, our mind healthy, and we will always be young. Yes. Yeah. So that's my yeah. advice to a lot of Right. Good. Thank you. What about Kayo? <laughs> Okay, and my, my advice to the to the peop to people who is behind hey, us. Jonathan. School pals. School oh, pals. Wow, that's yeah. way too you know, that's great. Always in my life. Great. Yes. Yes. Nowadays I you know I, I have realized one thing, you know, community is very important. Mm. Socializing is very important. But when and we are not so old as people might think. We are young. But we are 60. We don't have so much time like 20s, like teenagers. Our time is limited. And we, of course, we have a long life. But I believe, what I believe is that you need to be with somebody who you think is very important. I don't want to mix up with hundreds or a million people. So nowadays, what I, I'm doing is I, I'm selecting what I need in my life who is important to me in my life and then you know what is important to do this is to release what is not important to you and which is very difficult you need to release what is not important to you to your life to you then you can be with somebody or with something which is very important in your life this is this is what i have learned this mm. 10 months of this COVID-19, yeah. that's changed my life. Then I'm, I'm happy that I'm here with you guys. <laughs> right. So to me, it's really keeping up to speed, uh, knowing what is happening around us and uh, always be in our own element. Do yes. what we like, do what we love and love what we do. So if you know yourself very well, you plan yourself, even you are 20, 30, 40, or 50s, you plan yourself very well. So you will know what you want to do with whoever you want to be with, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. Right. So you have so, a choice. You, you need to choose. You need to choose. This is very important. That means you need to choose which is not important for you. Right. People try to choose what is important to you, but okay. it's right. different so way. Ladies, ladies, thank you so much for your thank time. You. Wow, it's been more than a year, month, more than an hour. hour. We have okay. here is my cheers red wine. <laughs> All right, let's cheers to many, many more ten years to go. Yes, and many, let's many go. more ten years to go. Yes, and we love ourselves more, and uh, we wish everybody. Good health, good especially health. right now. Good health, good immune system, and be passionate about everything because that will make you happier. When you are happier, you will look younger. Cheers! Cheers! Come on! Happy New Year to Chinese Hi, Chinese New Year. Hi, hi. For me to meet you. And Joe, thank you very much for inviting me as a guest to all our <laughs> Chinese viewers, I would like to wish you a very happy Kongsi Pak Chai. Not yet, Thank not yet. Let, let, us get tea in. let us get, let us invite tea in. Is tea in? Can we have tea together? Tea is my student and tea is the producer of this, this show. She's always the one who produces the show. And tea is also my working partner. We yes. have online course. Uh, yeah, so she's my working partner. So where is T? Is T coming in? I believe so. Yeah, she's about to come in. Hi, hi, and I'm here. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. She's black. <laughs> see you. She's totally black. Yeah, we cannot see you. Oh, yes, she is here. Ah, yes. Thank you all our friends. We have today a lot of Japanese friends. Thank you. Thank you. Konnichiwa. Arigato. <laughs> We have, we have a lot of 60 year olds and GS yeah, girls here, yeah. <laughs> for being with us. Uh, I know the pandemic, it's, 
it's difficult, but however, I'm sure it will turn a corner because injuries will never be like this forever. It's just a matter of time and we all have to do things together. It's Chinese New Year around the corner. Mm. In Malaysia, we are not allowed to celebrate, but I want to take this full opportunity to wish everyone Yes, I have. This is, I, I had this angpao from my sister. I thought I don't have an angpao this year. So I had an early angpao this year. This is for good health. And everybody, you must love yourself more. So this is from me, I got Thailand. Uh, man si yu yi. All right. And Cantonese, it's I wish everyone to chung pat yap. Means, uh, no metal can harm you and no virus can come to you. Okay? Right. I wow. think Kayo-san's, Kayo-san's huge angpao packet. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, well, actually, in Japan, uh, we have already celebrated New Year. So this is my handmade. handmade. Oh. And then, of course, in a Chinatown in Japan, like Kobe or Yokohama, they have big Chinatown. They do celebrate, but um, we don't celebrate. But today I want to celebrate with you. <laughs> so this is actually handmade of this uh, Chinese red packet. So in Japanese, a Happy New Year's Omedeto. And then this is a year of cow. This is my year. I was born in the year of cow, year 1961. Of the, all of yeah, all, yeah, all of us. Yes, we are all of us. Yes. Year of the oxen means we are strong. Yes, we are strong. Yeah, yeah, not, not the tea, maybe. But. Yes. And join us. It's what? Karen, your uncle? Yes. This is the year of the matter ox. So I like to wish every Chinese who is celebrating the Chinese New Year in the next one week. Kong Si Pat Chai, lots of prosperity, good health, and good wealth. And to the rest of them who are not celebrating, enjoy the celebration crowd, keep safe and stay safe. <laughs> right. This is tea. What tea has? Can't see. Tea? Can you hear us? We can't hear you. I think she cannot hear us. Yeah, I got. Yeah, she can hear, but she's, she's nice, frozen. Right? <laughs> Ah, okay. Yeah. T is long Chinese. No, so she, no, she, now we can hear her. Okay. I can hear. I can hear. Yeah. Can we take a, a photograph? <laughs> yeah. Happy New Year, everyone. Okay, happy I, I take New picture. Year. I can take. Okay. You can happy take. New Year. Happy New Year. One more time. Okay, let's see you this. You hear me right? Happy Chinese New Year to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> always One more time. Happy New Year. Okay, for sure. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much. We will definitely see each other over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Hi. Okay, thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Happy New Year to all Chinese people. Bye-bye. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.
Yes, yeah. Uh, you can see it's one hour nine minutes yes, fifty four seconds. Just yeah. a moment, yeah, ladies. Uh, and my face is so round. Oh, okay. I think we are still on live. We are still on live. Yes, I believe so. Yeah, um, I can hear um, your music. Unless, unless T will kick us to the background, <laughs> backstage. Mm. Okay, now she's gone. 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 Okay, now let me yeah. check. Yes, we can still chat. You know, when you this this is uh, live streaming, even mm -hmm. if T goes off out of this um, studio mm. until she uh, yes. push this um, leave the studio end, right. Right. it 